Shake your head. Nod your head. It's time to go. See what they did to you? Pull yourself together. Get out of prison. Furry is a strange game that is shrouded with mysteries. Where are you? Who are you? And who is this guy in the bunny mask that's talking to me? In Furry, you play as a swordsman knowing nothing about your past and where you are. Just a blade in hand and your reflexes cleaving away your adversaries. There's an easy way and a hard way. Fury is a combination of multiple types of games. It's hand in hand combat, it's a fast paced action game. Hitting square will let you combo and holding it will let you do a charge attack. While X will let you dodge and pressing circle will let you deflect or parry and attack. When you go for the long distance approach, it becomes a twin stick shooter where you aim and shoot with the right analog stick. The camera also switches to a top down camera which things can get a little bit hectic. The main character moves pretty fluid around the map, which gives you a feeling of being powerful and fast. Nothing feels better than dodging multiple attacks and countering them back. I'll tell you what I know on the way. But don't expect all the answers. It's all about what a man does. Since the game only consists of boss battles, it's all about learning the attack patterns of each boss. Each of the bosses have a unique tell and patterns to their attacks. Some of them will fight you up close while others will try to shred you with bullets. Talking about bullets, battles also consist of some bullet hell dodging that can get a little bit overwhelming. In Furry, you will die, and you will die often, but the enjoyment really comes when you learn how to maneuver around the boss to finally beat them. I only wish they had smaller enemies to fight on your way to a boss battle, but alas, all you do is walk to each point while the voice talks to you about the next enemy. Just a quick note about the easy difficulty though, its main purpose is just to show you the main story. Bosses in that mode has smaller health and can be beaten in a few hits. So, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, keep away from the easy difficulty. You will be broken. You will go back to yourself. Graphically, Furi looks pretty decent. Characters from the game reminisce of Afro Samurai given that aesthetic look and feel of the anime. What I really like is the use of wide variety of places like snow areas, woodlands, and futuristic buildings. Also, the colors of Furi is what catches my eye the most and making the game more of a saturated colorful look gives it a cyberpunkish look. Also, the game does have massive amounts of screen sharing, which can be a little bit jarring at times. The soundtrack of Furi is on another level. The sick music plays perfectly while you're walking. Very creepy and tranquil beats, but when it's time to fight, the music changes its tone to a faster beat that matches how the game is played. Furi has done some things right, like making you feel powerful as the swordsman. Also, it's difficult, but rewarding when you finally figure out how to beat a boss. 
and the game also has some interesting visuals and a kick-ass soundtrack. And at the end, it also looks cool. I mean, the designs for the bosses looks fantastic. At the same time, the game also falters. The pacing between boss fights is a little bit off. The only thing you can do between boss fights is walk to the other boss. And it goes to my next point. There's only one type of enemy, and those are bosses. I wish there was more enemies that are integrated into the game. And the last thing is, the game had a ton and a ton and a ton of screen tearing, which can be a little bit off-putting to certain people. In the end, I am giving Furi on the PS4 an 8 out of 10. 